Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a daily shooter and this is going to be a daily shooter quick tip. Now today what I want to talk about is red dot placement on your AR-15. Now obviously this is not a new topic. It's been covered by dozens of channels who have made dozens of great videos on it. So there's a lot of information already out there. So how's this going to be any different? Well today what I want to talk about is mounting an optic that I would consider to be either small or micro that has a large reticle. So something like this Holosun 503 GU, this is a small or micro optic. It has a 20 millimeter objective, but it has a 65 MOA ring reticle on the inside. Now, how is that different, you might ask, from then let's say something like a standard Aimpoint T1 or T2? Well, the Aimpoint T1 or T2, something like that, has a, a single 2 MOA dot. Well, that 2 MOA dot doesn't change much in size as you move it away from your face and move it up closer to you. The field of view from within the optic pretty much stays the same. However, when you have a smaller micro optic and you have a 65 MOA ring inside, which is already fairly large, the further that you move it away from your face, the more that that reticle takes up space on with, within the tube. Now, obviously it doesn't actually change size, but the way that your eye perceives it in the optic is different. So you'll notice if you have one around you right now and you can grab it and you hold it up close to your eye, you can see that maybe hold it up against a light switch or something. You see that it takes up the light switch, it covers the light switch, and you have a pretty good field of view around the reticle itself. But the further you hold it out away from you, the larger the reticle becomes inside the optic itself. It doesn't cover up any more of your target, so it still covers up the same amount of space on your light switch. However, there is less field of view in the optic around the reticle itself. So instead of just placing it in the center of your rifle and being done with it, you may want to consider a couple things. One, how large is it? Can you get a, still get a good field of view around the item that you're going to be looking at? Because it might be something a little bit further down range. And based on this, you might not be able to see anything around that target at all if you have this fairly far out. However, if it's too close, it might be blocking your field of view. My overall opinion is that there's not a one size fits all for red dot placement. You want to make sure that you put it on, you take as much information that you can, and you find what suits you. Your length of pull is going to be different. Your rifle is going to be different. Your optic and your reticle is going to be different. So don't go for a one size fits all approach. Make sure that you look at it, you determine you know, whether or not you have a small window or potentially you have a large window, like in this Hartman MH1 right here, which has I think like a 34, 35 uh, millimeter objective. It's much larger. And so it doesn't make much of a difference whether or not I have it far out or close in as how my reticle appears from within the window. So my quick tip today is don't follow one opinion. Make sure you learn for yourself, research, and determine what's best for you. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.